He's here. Call. Charlie Chu appears to be the last one. Appears set at the 2-1 start. That off in the 30-runner, Friends of the Cut Irish Zadowich. A couple of slow starters in franchise and Prairie Dancer as the early leader is Boho Road from six and a half. A piece of heaven on the inside with Countess of Tyrone and Plonti in the Euphrates as they sort themselves out. Zoffy next. Comfort zone on the inside of Divine Comedy and they're followed by Dartan and Bialystok and Chally Tudor. In the division is Dawn Rising, then Jesse Evans, Xander Betts, Perceba, and Iscari is next, followed by my mate Mozzie. Checked out of room there was Countess of Tyrone as Boho Road makes the early running. Shows under two lengths in front of six and a half. On the inside is a piece of heaven. The Euphrates is moved up, followed by Dartan and then Plantier. After them is Zoffy with Comfort Zone. Divine Comedy is next on the inside is Perceba and then Bialystok. Countess of Tyrone and Iskeri Zanderbad, my mate Mozzie next, followed by Dawn Rising. Next on the inside is Derrida, followed by Alphonse Legrand and Jesse Evans. My like is next, who's racing in company with Chally Chute. Nürburgring is well down the field, two lengths then to Nakib, with another couple of lengths to the shock winner of last year, Magellan Strait. Was followed by Taipan and Z Band is next, then in franchise. Tashkan, the top weight, near to the bag with Falcon A, who filled second 12 months ago and trading the field as Prairie Dancer. They're pretty well spaced out. Coming up to the final nine furlongs in the Friends of the Karadis to Zadowich, and the leader is Boha Road. Boha Road and Scott McCullough by a couple of lengths to the Euphrates. Ryan Moore on the outside of a piece of heaven. Luke McIntyre being closely followed by. Dartan, six and a half, and Plantier next, then Zoffy, Comfort Zone, Divine Comedy, and then Bialis Dock as they race towards the halfway stage. Boho Road leads the Euphrates by a length. Three parts of length back to a piece of heaven. Close up and fourth is Dartan, followed on rising ground by six and a half, and then Plantier. A couple of lengths to Zoffy in comfort zone. Divine Comedy, Perceba is next, then Bialystok and Countess of Tyrone. Ennis Gary is next, then my mate Mozzie, who's followed by Jesse Evans, and Dawn Rising in Zanderbad and Chally Chute next with Derrida. And then comes Malaika, and Nakib is next. Z-Ban pushed along on the outside of Taipan. They five furlongs to go. Heading down from the top of the track and they're really starting to come back. Boho Road is joined by the Euphrates. Dartan next on the outside. Then a piece of heaven. Six and a half in between horses. Then comes Plontier. Comfort Zone Divine Comedy. Making headway both Zoffy and Jesse Evans and Dawn Rising edging closer. Then in Iskeri who's followed by Xander Bad and Bialystok is next. Followed by my mate Mozzie. They run the home turn. And the Euphrates is set alight by Ryan Moore. Moves on by a couple of lengths with two and a half furlongs to go. Followed by six and a half a piece of heaven. Falling away is Boho Road. Then Spaceba Bialystok. New Ring is appearing late. In the middle of the drag is Comfort Zone. Followed by Dawn Rising. And then Xander Baden. Plenty in my mate Mozzie is next. Then Divine Comedy. But it's the Euphrates the one to catch. Racing towards the final furlong of the friends of the Karaj Cezanovich. It's the Euphrates and Ryan Moore by two and a half lengths to a piece of heaven who's trying hard with six and a half new Berkring in a fourth but up towards the finish it's the Euphrates going to see it out in the Cesarewitch for a piece of heaven six and a half new Berkring next to cap to dawn rising followed in by Zanderbad and comfort zone and now false Legrand and Spaceba favorite has won it it is the Euphrates who crowns a tremendous afternoon here for Aiden O'Brien and Ryan Moore punted into seven to two on the off the only three-year-old in the lineup, always to the fore, and has fended off the late challenge of a piece of heaven. Six and a half is never too far away either. It paid to be handy, Lisa. They seemed to go fast enough early on, but really steadied it up in the mid part of the race. Nurberg rings got rolling a bit too late again. He's run a fine race, but the class of the Euphrates with the blinkers on today has come to the fore. He has indeed. Nothing really got into it too much um, from the back of the field. Nürburgring, the only one to make inroads in the last 100 yards. But in fairness to the Euphrates, he was always up to the fore, as was a piece of heaven and obviously six and a half. They were just 
following in behind Boho Road who cut out most of the ro running all of the way but as we pick them up with four furlongs to go Euphrates and Ryan Moore which is travelling so so well at this stage he'd loads of horse underneath them and you were looking in behind for dangers to see what was coming from the pack what was travelling really well and Nürburgring was well back in the pack at this stage Gary but he did make up a serious amount of ground he did indeed yes very very similar run to Leopardstown last time he's met a bit of traffic there at a crucial stage as well when Dylan Brown McMonagall was trying to get rolling don't think you'd say it's cost him the race just that bit of interference but just held him up a touch and he certainly would have been a bit closer but for that and it was just a case of whether this horse was going to keep up the gallop lease at this stage wasn't it he'd taken a couple of lengths out of them and while he has I don't know whether it's tired, idle to touch, maybe a combination of both laid on. He is coming back to a piece of heaven at the line, but the heavy lifting had been done at that stage. And then into a handicap here. They thought he was well handicapped. Uh, right, they were. He certainly was. And we can't forget this. He's obviously a really tough nut, Gary, because he only ran in a group one only less than two weeks ago. It's a really solid performance by him, stepping into handicap company for the first time. Obviously, a handicap rating of 105. He was getting the weight for age allowance, which was used to his advantage. And... Uh, He's looked to be really well in here, to be fair. A piece of heaven has run a cracker. Was a little bit keen in the early stages for Luke McIntyre, but had a good draw in stall three. And um, obviously the uh, the eventual third horse has run a cracker as well, a six and a half, an unexposed filly, and she brings home some nice prize money today. Yeah,